Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crick Show 9 back at you guys with another video. And today we're doing another high rated fighter versus lower rated fighter. But this one's a little bit special because not only are we going up against my good friend Deagle Fly, who has become one of the best players in the world, we are also using the newly retired, soon to be UFC Hall of Famer Carlos Condit, one of my favorite fighters of all times. Even though he beat Nick Diaz, who is my favorite fighter of all time, uh, we'll, we'll forgive you for that one. But here we're going to touch gloves with Deagle, and we're underway. Now, this Conor McGregor matchup for anybody is tough, more or less for somebody like Carlos Condit. So we're going to switch into Southpaw here to stay in the same stance uh, because Carlos does have a 92 switch stance. His stats not going to drop uh, a lot, so we're comfortable with doing this. Here we're trying to space it out, trying to crack those body kicks off straight off the rip to let him know we're not going to just be head hunting. He's whiffing on a lot of strikes here. Uh, which is good for us because we're draining his stamina slowly but surely. Good body kick right there. Gets us a good rock straight off the rip. And we're trying to pressure. Good body uppercut by him. We respond with a straight body kick of our own. Try to hit him with the elbow, but he's hip to it and backs away. Good leg kick by him right there. So far, so good. We got a good body rock off, so we switch stance to keep him honest. Able to avoid that teep right there. Go down to the body with a jab. Straight body kick again. And that look at that stamina on Deagle already. We're not even halfway through the first round, and that's that short-term stamina is starting to drain slowly but surely. He tries that Superman punch going backwards, which is kind of funny. But here we're pressuring a little bit. Good hand stand, hand plant kick to the body. And now we're just trying not to exchange with Connor too much in this pocket because he's so lethal down there. We try to go to the body. He uppercuts us off the off the block right there. We catch the kick, luckily. Catch him with a good head kick as he's backing up. So now we're rock for rock. We got a body rock. He got a head rock. And now we need to be aware of our head health. Uh, as we, not only in, in for the rest of the first round, but also going into the later rounds because Connor packs that power. So we're able to catch him with a good front kick as he leaned back right there. He was going to, he fainted the Superman punch. Good hook kick by him right there into an oblique kick. That hand, that hand plant kick actually avoided the spinning elbow that we threw out. So we're just trying to give him different looks, not trying to overextend on our combinations, cracking off those leg kicks to get him to switch stance to orthodox. That's the preferred stance that we want him in. Uh, not only because it's Carlos's original stance, it's his OG stance, but it's Connor's switch, which he's not very good at. So we almost catch him with a good knee as he was going down for that body faint, but we just missed. Breaking the block down just a little bit, not overextending though, because if we get caught with a combination moving forward, we're gonna be we're gonna be out of there pretty quick. We throw the wheel kick, but it misses. Go down to the body. Good hook by him right there. Jab into the block into a into a body kick. And now as the, the last minute approaches, we're going to try to still work on that leg. You've seen us throw the oblique kick. We faint the front kick out. Try to go with the roundhouse head kick, but he's hip to it. Doesn't even come within range. Good combination right there. Drains our head health a little bit. We go with the teep kick to the body to gain a little bit of space. He whiffs on that kick, but we don't punish it, unfortunately. Catch him with a good calf kick. Good combo right there by him. Catch him with a good calf kick again. And that's the end of the first round. Very, very closely contested first round between myself and Deagle, as it always is. Um, I felt very confident going into the second round. Uh, just because I was able to hang with him so well with Carlos in the first round. Uh, there's a couple things that I needed to, to work on in this second round. So to give us a little bit of a better chance to win. So we're gonna try to do that here. So we're, we're jabbing into his block. We're gonna try to work that leg a little bit more, but he slip counters us right there. We need to be careful because Connor packs all that power in those hands, man. Absolutely brutal. Try the spinning wheel kick again, but we miss. Crack him with a good four punch combination. Break the block into a spinning elbow. Good hook kick again by him right there. Now we need to be careful. We catch him with a good calf kick into a straight right there, which is one of my favorite combinations. Then we catch him again with another leg kick. He catches us with a good roundhouse kick to the head. We're rocked. We're trying to respond to keep him off of us. Faint that leg kick out to try to bait a reaction, but he doesn't bite on it. Good double jabs into the block right there by Deagle. Now he's starting to apply the pressure because he realizes that we he did get us with a head health event. But our head health is actually looking fairly decent with Carlos Condit. We haven't taken too much damage to the head. Go with the good oblique kick. We're going to start trying to work those in just a little bit more because they're very they're very much so safer than the other kicks, than the calf kicks and the regular leg kicks. 
Right there, he tries to go for the Superman. We faint the, to the body, go to the head, but he does not get hit by him. Good slip straight right there by him. Now he's trying to close the distance on us. We switch back to Orthodox. Good overhand right there. Catches us, rocks us, puts us up against the cage. We've got to fight our way out of it. We go with another oblique kick to drain that leg out just a little bit, and it's blinking. So we're going to keep going to it until he switches to Orthodox. Double jab straight into the block. Good uh, straight lead hook combination by him. Double jabs into our block again. Breaks it down. But we respond with a good combination of our own. Calf kick him again. That leg's not really wanting to go out and give us a leg health event. But it's going to go at some point if we keep kicking it. Kick it again just for good measure. He's trying to respond to it before we actually do get the leg health event. But it's not looking too good for that leg of his right now. Catch him with a good uppercut as he was ducking down and a straight as he tried to pull. Hit him again to the legs. He's trying to catch us as we come in, so we need to be very careful. That's why we're throwing the feints out. Good hand plant kick to the body by him right there. Double jab into a straight to the block. We didn't pull counter quite fast enough to get a counter off of that. But here we're throwing another oblique kick as we close the distance. Not just coming in with jabs so he can catch us with a front kick. He pulls the straight but doesn't do damage on it. So we're, we're playing the footsies game here. Catch him with a good calf kick again. Tries to go with the oblique kick of his own. But there it is. We finally get the leg health event. He has to switch into orthodox. Which is smart. Hitting, the, hitting that, that lead leg again this time. But it's the, left, it's the actual left leg. We catch him with a good head kick right there. Rock him. We knock him down onto the cage. But we're not jumping on him. He's not going to jump on us either. We hit him with a good calf kick as he gets up into a spinning elbow, but it doesn't land. Good wheel kick right there. Rocks us, and hopefully we're going to be able to survive into the next round, and it looks like we will. A super crazy, crazy ending to that second round. I knocked him down thinking that I was going to be able to get him out of there. He comes back and throws that jab, spinning heel kick to the head and absolutely annihilates our head health. But very close second round as well we're going to try to get the finish here in the third round so i see that he's standing in southpaw so i immediately go with that leg kick he hasn't switched stance yet so we're going to throw out the front kick to try to get his mind off of the leg kick we get another leg health event right there he ducks down into an uppercut he pulls that uppercut right there rocks us again knocks us down right here now he's going to try to get another knockdown but he's not able to he's He's suffocating us right now with that Conor McGregor pick. We calf, we calf kick him again because he's in southpaw. Knock him down. We get another leg health event. Knock him down again. Double jab straight and then a leg kick. So we're mixing it up just a little bit. He switches to orthodox. Tries to fire back. But we're not there to be found. Try to catch him with a front kick. But we miss. Good wheel kick again by him. Annihilates our head health again. And he's trying to get us out of there. We're not trying to let it happen. We duck that overhand that just came out of orthodox. Double straight into a jab by him. We jab into his block. Go with the straight head kick, but it whiffs. So here we're just taking our time, trying not to rush because our, our head health is so low that it only takes one counter from Conor McGregor to put us out. Hit him with a beautifully timed spinning elbow. And rock him again. So here we're just trying to take our time. He tries to go with the spinning wheel kick again, but that doesn't work. So here we're just playing footsies, trying to bait him to throw a kick or anything like that so we can overhand it. But he's doing a good job of just staying committed to his fundamentals, which is super important. We catch him right there with a good front kick, rock him again, try to go with the spinning elbow, but he doesn't slip off. Knock him down. But Connor's not out of here yet. So here we're taking our time. Leg kick him again just to get his mind off of the head. Tries to front kick us. Here he slips, and we catch him with a beautifully timed front kick with Carlos Condit, and that's the end of the fight. Crazy, crazy fight, as always, against Deagle Fly. Shout out to him for doing this video with me. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. If you guys did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new, um, if you're not new, make sure to hit that like button, and if you're new as well, make sure to hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed this content, I do make more content like this as well as tutorials. But until the next video, guys, take it easy, be safe, and thank you guys for stopping by again.